Now that you know how to navigate through Octave, it's time to actually do computer programming. We first start with arithmetic operators. You use these operators to perform basic mathematical operations. So we have a plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, front slash for division, and a hat for exponent. If you have very large numbers or very small numbers, you can use the letter E in scientific notation. For example, 5,100,000 can be expressed as 5.1 E6. 0. 0.00002 can be expressed as 2 E minus 5. These arithmetic operators are often used in other computer languages as well. Octave uses the same rules as basic algebra when executing operations. The famous, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally rules. So parentheses are given the highest priority, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Multiplication and division are given the same priority, and addition and subtraction are given the same priority. So let's go see some examples. We can do mathematical operations right at the command line. So for example, 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 times 5. And finally, 5 to the power of 5. So let's see how order of operations works. I'm going to write this long expression And let's execute it. We have 1 divided by 2, 0.5. We also have 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So 16 times 3, 48, plus 1 half, 48 and a half. What if we take the same expression and add a parentheses? We get a very different result. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 squared is 144 plus a half. So be very careful when using parentheses in your code. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to store data using variables.